Welcome back to our channel, Ability to Learn by Discovery Day Program. Happy Wednesday. We are halfway to this week. Of course, we have another episode for you today, but we'll do some exercises first, yeah? It's going to try to move your body real quick, do a little bit of warm-up. So, are you ready? Let's go. Hi, my name is Emily, and today we are going to be going over range of motion and also stretching. So, get yourself in a nice seated position, get a chair, and sit comfortably. We are first going to begin with doing some neck stretches. Start by tilting your head to one side of your body. Hold that position. Do you feel the stretching in your neck back here? I do. It feels good after all this time just sitting on the couch. Now let's move to the other side. Stretch, you can rock back and forth a little bit if you want, kind of like a windshield wiper. We are going to change sides. Hold that stretch again. Breathe comfortably as you're sitting during this exercise. You can rock your head a little bit. Feel the stretch in your shoulders and your neck, but don't be uncomfortable. It should be just right. Now, let's look up at the ceiling. Tilt your head all the way back and let your head rest. Hold this position. Close your eyes if you want, take a deep breath. feels good. All right, now we're gonna move our chin to our chest and go ahead and look down and hold that neck stretch. Feels good to stretch these muscles and stretch your neck. Yeah, that feels great. Hold that position a little while longer and slowly bring yourself up. Good. Next, we're going to do some neck rotations. So turn your neck to one side. Try and look over your shoulder if you can. Bring it back to the front and again over the other side. Try and look as far over your shoulder as possible. This is a great range of motion exercise. Good. Now, we're gonna do the same thing, but up and down. Up and down. Either like you're nodding politely or you're falling asleep in math class. I like the math class version. Stretch your neck, do it slowly. Good. Now, let's draw some circles with our heads. Draw some circles. Pretend like your nose is a pen, and I just ask you to scribble down a picture of a circle. Now, go the other way. You can do this really slowly if you want, but it feels good to just get some motion in your neck. Great job. Let's stretch out our arms. Grab one arm and pull it over your chest. Hold your elbow and feel that right in your shoulder blade, right? Feel the stretch and hold it. You guys look like you've done this before. All right, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Get loosey-loosey and switch arms. Same thing, holding the elbow, bringing the arm across the chest, and hold the stretch. You should feel a slight tugging in your shoulder muscles in your upper arm. That's normal, but if it causes you any pain, don't continue. Good job. All right, let's do some hand stretches. 
All right, lock your fingers together and push all the way out in front of you. Good, just like that. Now, if you're not able to lock your fingers together like this, we have some alternative methods. You can use your fists and your hands. So put your fists in front of you and pull one or the other. Or just reach your hands out like fists as far as you can in front of you. You don't have to interlock if it's uncomfortable. Let's hold this stretch and we'll bring it up over our heads. Wow, I haven't done this move since I was like three. Hold it like you're a ballerina. All right, let's do some of our, remember our yoga poses is our crescent moon. We're gonna turn it over to the side. Stretch your back. Good. Wiggle your fingers and shake it out. Our next pose, we're gonna be practicing rowing our shoulders. Row them forward. Forward. So roll those shoulders. I find it best to go up to your ears. I'll demonstrate that a little bit later. But roll your shoulders forward. Good, you're drawing circles. All right, here we go. Bring it up to your ears. Ready? One, two, three. Roll it up and down. Up and down. Don't bring your head down to your shoulders. Try and bring your shoulders all the way up to your ears. Good job. Now, let's do the reverse. Let's roll it backwards. Roll it backwards. Don't forget to try and bring them up as far as you can to your ears. Now this move kind of looks like you don't know the answer when you're called on in math class. All right, let's shake out our wrists. Shake, 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 shake. Get nice and loose. You might hear some things moving around in your wrist. That's normal. Shake out your fingers. Shake them, shake them, shake them. Bring up one hand and we are going to start massaging our fingers. So hold up your hand. And we're just gonna do some light massaging on our fingers, our knuckles, our hands. If you have limited hand use, don't worry about this portion. Just do what you can and massage whatever use you have use of out of your hand. Good. Let's switch. Shake your wrist, shake your hand, spread your fingers apart, and massage. Good. Feels nice to relax a little bit. All right, let's turn those wrists a couple more times. Great. Now, Let's bring your arm up back behind your head and grab your elbow. You should feel a stretch again in your upper arms, and this helps to lengthen and strengthen your back. Pull it gently back behind your head and hold it. All right, we're gonna get ready to switch our arms. Shake it out if you need to. Do the opposite arm. Bring it up, over, and behind your head. Hold that elbow. Good job. All right, shake it out if you need to. Relax, get in some stretches. We are now going to do some arm lifts. We're going to raise our arms up over our heads, kind of like a jumping jack but we're gonna be remaining seated. Bring your arms up over your head and touch your tips, then go back down. Bring your hand up if you can only have one hand to use right now. Bring your hands up, touch the tips of your fingers and bring them back down. Good. These are way easier than jumping jacks. Pretend you're a bird flying through the sky. That makes me feel peaceful. Good job, let's move on. We're gonna do some trunk twists, all right? Sit tall and rotate your body. Rotate your torso, your abs. Take a deep breath in between. Rotate. 
all of these exercises are being done from a sitting position. We want you guys to be as safe as possible while you're at home. Good job. Nice. Now, let's reach up and pull down. Kind of like we're reaching up and pulling down the weight bar at the gym. I wouldn't know about that, but if I did go to the gym, this is what I would imagine it would look like. Reach up and pull down. Reach up. Pull down that heavy bar. Oh, look at your muscles. Mm-hmm. Working on that summer body. Reach up and pull down. Good job. And this is good to get extension in your arms. Ooh, that was a workout. Reach up and down. All right, guys, our next portion we're gonna be working on is our legs. Range of motion in our legs, it's good for our physical health. Let's start by bringing up one leg straight out in front of you. Lift up, just bring your toes as far up as you can. Switch legs, same thing, bring them up as far as you can. Let me see your toes. I had to put on shoes for the first time and I don't know how long for this video. All right, let's bring up our knee as far up as you can. You're gonna keep it in that right angle, kind of like you're marching in a parade or a marching band. You can add some weights here if you'd like for a, a more difficult exercise. But for now, if you're at home, you probably don't have any, so just use what you can. Take a breath and relax, and let's continue. Bring our toes up, and we're gonna draw circles with our toes. This helps your ankle rotations. Remember to do what you can with whatever you can. So if you have a hard time moving your feet, just do the best that you can. Get a good stretch in, that's all we're focused on. Now do the other side for those ankle rotations. Good. Do the same thing on the opposite leg. Draw a circle, going one way with your ankle or your toes. Good. Keep it going. You might feel some cracking in your ankles. All right, let's stop and go the other way. Good. Get those ankle twists in as many as you can. All right, next we're gonna be opening and closing our legs. Open, close, open, close. We do this exercise at the day program. Helps with your hips and opening up your legs just to get some movement in your lower half of your body. You can also put a playground ball or um, a, a different object in between your legs that you can help squeeze. All right, let's sit comfortable again, sit nice and tall. You're gonna put one leg over the other and look behind you. Hold that stretch. Mm-hmm, you're doing great. All right, shake it out. Let's do the other side. Oh, more shaking. Relax, deep breath, and other side. Hold that stretch, look as far behind you as you can. Hold on to your leg. And get ready to release it. Ah, great job. Take a deep breath and let it out. Next, we're gonna reach forward and try and bend and touch your toes. Remember, we're doing this in a seated position. And if you're in a wheelchair, please remember to fasten your seatbelt at all times. Reach forward as far as you can to touch your toes. We're gonna to stretch our back. Hold that stretch. Keep looking at your toes. You can take some deep breaths during this time. All right, now when you're done, you're gonna slowly bring yourself up. Don't come up too fast or you'll get dizzy. All right, how's your back feel? Pretty good? 
All right. Next, bring your leg on top of your other leg. And you're gonna do the same thing where you lean forward. This helps your lower back muscles and your upper leg muscles. Sorry if you hear my dogs barking, you will know that we're, we're all recording from home. With my yoga video the other day, there were lawn mowers and kids in the pool, but... All right, slowly bring yourself back up. Not too fast, you don't want to get a head rush. Go ahead and relax and do the other leg. So what are you guys doing at home? Are you staying safe? Get out and go for a walk. All these good things that are helpful for your physical health and your mental health. All right, you can also go ahead and push down on this leg to uh, help further your stretch. It helps with your upper leg. And slowly go ahead and start to bring yourself up. Not too fast, take a deep breath. Mm, let's get situated again. We are done for the day. Thank you. You guys have a great time in the morning show and I'll see you later. Thank you, Emily, for today's exercise. Again, it's time for our daily show where we provide you with educational facts and trivia for your daily knowledge. Shall we start with today's observance? Our first observance for today is Frog Jumping Day. Frog Jumping Day celebrates the frog and its jump. And believe it or not, there are actual competitions where people would see which of their frogs jump the furthest. Speaking of which, the longest recorded jump within this competition was completed by a frog called Saji at a South African Frog Derby. The frog jumped an astounding 33 feet and 5 and a half inches. Next is National Receptionist's Day. Sometimes, when you enter a new place, you would be at a loss to find where you want to go. A receptionist's job is to give the public information about the building and whatever else they require. A receptionist also answers the phone or does various other tasks to support the team. Next up, National Third Shift Day. At night, the majority of your family members had come home from work. However, work is not finished when the sun sets. Third shift workers will be working while almost everyone else is sleeping. Ever wonder how your favorite fast food restaurant can be open 24-7? It is thanks to the third shift workers who work to provide us service. Next is International Hummus Day. Hummus is made from cooked mashed chickpeas blended with tahini, lemon juice, and garlic. Tahini is a toasted hull of sesame seeds that are grounded. Hummus is popular in the Middle East and the Mediterranean. Next is National Apple Pie Day. Ooh, another food. Apple is one of America's classic foods. Apple pie can come in many flavors because you can use whatever apple you like. And our last observance for today, which you can also eat, is Fruit Cocktail Day. Fruit cocktail is a collection of pieces of different fruits. Oftentimes, they are packaged or canned, but you can make fruit cocktails fresh. With summer coming up, this is a good cool snack to eat. Okay, for your challenges, first, have a discussion about the places that you think you can get good apple pies. And then, name at least three different types of fruit you would like for your fruit cocktail. Today in History The Great Comet of 1861 is discovered by John Tebbutt of Windsor, New South Wales, Australia. A Great Comet is classified as a comet that is bright enough to be seen with the naked eyes. But this Great Comet of 1861 was so bright it could be seen for three months. Also today in the year 1880, Thomas Edison performed the first test of his electric railway in Menlo Park, New Jersey. Before electricity, trains were powered by coal. The electrical railway allows trains to carry more people and cargo because the coal is no longer occupying space.
notable figures born today. Today in the year 1922, B. Arthur was born. B. Arthur was an American actress and singer. She is known for playing Maud Finley on the TV show Maud and Dorothy on Golden Girls. What are some of your favorite episodes from Maud and Golden Girls? Notable figures who passed today. Today, just two years ago, Margot Kidder died at her home in Livingston, Montana at the age of 69. Margot Kidder was an American actress who is known for playing Lois Lane in the Superman film series. What about you guys? What other movies do you know that Margot Kidder appeared in? The Daily Weather Today's forecast, it will be partly cloudy with a high of 74 and a low of 59. Chance of rain is 0% and humidity is 48%. Humidity is much higher in the morning but comes back down to the 40s before nightfall. Luckily, today is going to be a pretty cool day. And that is our weather for today. The Daily News Green Circle Growers of Ohio is honoring America's healthcare workers by donating $1 million worth in orchids to frontline caregivers in seven markets hit hardest by the coronavirus pandemic. The cities include Boston, Dallas, Detroit, Los Angeles, New York, Tampa, and Cleveland. More than 50,000 orchids are delivered to those on the front line at hospitals, nursing homes, homeless shelters, food banks, and more. And that is for today's news. Time for our fun and games. Today, we're doing three trivias. As usual, you'll be presented with three questions. Try your best to answer it correctly. You'll get 10 seconds for each question. So, are you ready? Okay, let's start the game. For our first question, what is a male donkey called? Is it A, Jack? Is it B, Buro? Is it C, Jenny? Or is it Q, Mustang? Time's up, and the answer is A, Jack. Now, for our next question. Which state has the city that is considered the sunniest place in the world? Is it A, Arizona? Is it B, Georgia? Is it C, California? Or is it Q, Delaware? Time's up, and the answer is A, Arizona. Okay, for the last question. Who was the U.S. president when electricity was installed in the White House? Is it A, Grover Cleveland? B, Benjamin Harrison? C, James Garfield? Or Q, William McKinley? Time's up, and the answer is B, Benjamin Harrison. So, how many correct answers did you guys get? And finally, we've reached the end of today's episode again, guys. Hope you like it and hope you learned something. Well, thanks for sticking around again with us today. As always, we'll see you on the next one. Bye!